This Let's Play features an adult using adult language. You have been warned. How's it going, folks? My name's Steven Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. When last we left Detective Payne, uh, he was being saved by Mona, so we'll see how well this plays out. She came to get me through the fire. Ooh. Where am I supposed to go? That'll work. Oh, shit. Might need to go this way. Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. Sorry. Sorry, Vinny. There should be a lot less of that suit intact. Max. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective, tied to time and place, love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. 
you would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Winterson. In the dream, I was an invisible ghost hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. A crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who could solve A it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh! oh his heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope! Six milligrams! Charge! Give clear! Him hope. Clear! Nothing! Go again! 300! 300! Charge! Clear! Clear! Wake up. You're Nothing. in a computer game. Doctor, again, once more! 350! Charge! Clear! Clear! Still nothing! Lost it. Time of death? 238. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you gonna do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. She's dyed her hair red. I've been framed. should have known he wasn't going to play fair. Especially when your life was on the line. Have no fear. Vlad is here. Mona Sachs. Vladimir Lam. Gate is dead. That was to be expected. No hard feelings. It's not too late, my darling. Join me, and all's forgiven. 
we would make a brilliant couple. I am the king, and you could be my queen. In your dreams. <laughs> See? We are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Get her! Get the bitch! V for Vlad. How long had he been playing us? Pretending to be a friend. a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> Don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards, when you ask why me, and what if. When you look back, see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! Mona! Okay, that was quick. Whoa. AKs and ammo is likely gone to fucking void at this point. So that was a big explosion. One of the things I love about video game physics, things just scatter, they don't erupt. Ah, 
Come on. He's coming. Oh shit. Blow it up. Blow it up now. That's gonna be big. Down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor. You take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can. Incoming. Uh oh. Hey, last episode probably. The season finale yep. of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Cleansing Cleaning Products. I fled into the night. Behind me, in the darkness, the manor house burned like Nero's Rome. My Lord Valentine taught me who I was. He showed me life. The meaning of being a lady took me out to the world waiting beyond the secluded garden of my childhood home. He gave me the seed that grew into my greatest treasure. Mama, Mama! My little Valentine. It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my lord calling out to me, saying, My lady. My lady. It's a short season finale, but, you know, that's a good way to end the series. Oh. Seriously, you're gonna drop the fucking bookshelf on me? Fuck you! You illiterate hack! Deeper into the building, look for Woden or Vlad. All right. Well, ow, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm glad this turned out to be, like, the lucky spot.
It's like the main pillars fail. Phew. I'm down. No, stay there. Um, bullshit. Deeper into the building, look for Woden or Vlad. All right. Check the other wing. Right. Okay. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. 
Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. Saxon Payne. They're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case. Ooh, address unknown. Hold on. The mind-bending finale in our return to Sender Marathon. The last episode of Address Unknown ever. Somebody's been wearing my face again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pink Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Lynch would point out, you never reveal who the killer is early, otherwise, what's the point of watching the show? Dead. That guy came out of a doorway up there, so maybe this is now open. Woden's in his panic room at the back of the manor. It's up ahead. See you there. Pills, gang. This is love. 
when someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved a fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> we'll see. One last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. He's behind me! Hold him off! And give me a gun! <laughs> we can still kiss and make up, Max! It's good that the women are out of the way. They only complicate matters. Take cover! Keep you in, of course! The Complicate matters. Take cover! Keep you in, of bomb. course! The panic room! To the panic room! That's what they meant. Okay, I forgot about that. Eh. Guess you really don't need the manor, do you, laddie? I'm really not a fan. Motherfucker.
no indeed. even a little face it you might as well be dead already do yourself a favor give up nah that'd be easy hey Probably. To say, Vlad, my son. Can I call you my son? Because I sure do love you like one. Vlad, my son. You are a true prodigy. Everything you touch turns to gold. Oh, wait. It is going to kill you. I'm done doing your dirty work for you. You should be proud. I have learned all you've taught me. I'm coming to show you. Cool, I'm hip, I'm badass, blah, 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 blah. It's interesting seeing the effort they put into Woden's bedroom, that they actually did make sure everything he would need if he was in a hospital bed is available. I really do appreciate that level of attention to detail. Yeah. Yes, yes I can. These days, it's going to get you killed. Ah, I don't have any grenades. Pretty sure we're at the end, too. I recognize the ante room in that next area. Is there a 
final stash of goodies anywhere. I got a good amount of ammo at least. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Don't worry, Max. I haven't forgotten you. Everything all right down there? Ooh! Is this the way you want to play it, cop? You fuck! <laughs> Have no fear! The lad is here! I did. I kinda did. There's your fucking gun back. <laughs> that was... <coughs> Max, dearest of all my friends, I was supposed to be the hero. chances to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love, darkness waiting in the hole of your mouth. We are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about. For love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here, this way, there. Easy. Oh my God. He's got a live one here. Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. Staring bleak Beer cans 
deer's eyes on the asphalt underneath our crushed plans and my lies lonely street signs power lines they keep on flashing flashing by flashing. and we keep driving into the night it's a late goodbye such a late goodbye and we keep driving into the night it's a late goodbye Upon my cheek, can we cross that line? You made me strong when I was feeling we can we cross that one time. Scream and stop signs, staring wild eyes keep on flashing, flashing by. It's a late goodbye, such a late goodbye, and we keep driving into the night. It's a late goodbye. Ah, hi, hi. The devil grins from ear to ear when he sees a hand still dust, points at your flame and hand. Our trails don't call behind us Till in the John Muir you stare at yourself Grown old and weak We keep driving into the night It's a late goodbye Such a late goodbye We keep driving into the night It's a late like that last line right there max's journey through the night will continue i feel like that last line in the ending credits was a mistake and i don't blame remedy for it i blame rockstar for it with the first two games max's story is complete any story after that can only deal with the repercussions of everything that happened in the first two games there's no logical way to keep it going. Now, they do a great job of that with Max Payne 3. We jump forward, what, 10, 20 years, we have a pill junkie with a lot of emotional baggage dealing with his shit poorly in a different country. And it works. It's a fantastic game. I wish I had a PC copy of it. <laughs> but, but, that's an adventure for another time. We did it! We beat Max Payne 2. Yes, we only beat it on normal. However, I did finally unlock uh, New York Minute and Hard Boiled. If I were to beat it on Hard Boiled, that would unlock Dead on Arrival. Dead on Arrival has a secret ending. I'm not going to spoil what that secret ending is. What I will do, though, is say this game is on Steam. If you want to see the secret ending, you should pursue it. I definitely suggest it. It's it's very Terminator 2 with how it closes the story, but it's a lot more... It's a lot harder to get to. 
it's a lot harder to get to. Well, I didn't expect to beat this in one sitting. I hope you guys had fun with Let's Play Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to jump on a trend for the next game that I play. I think I should play a game that just came out, or should I say recently had a re-release. So, until we meet again, folks... Stay classy, Internet.